Lewis, first of all, just tell us what the, the first few weeks in, in League One have been like for you and how you've found it. Yeah, it's tough um, going up the levels. You, f- you find every every league that you go up, it's it's a lot tougher physically on, on, on demand of how much you run, the high intensity. And for me, on a personal standpoint, I, f- I think there's only more to come from, from myself. Um, obviously, being injured and stuff, I'm just finding my, my feet again and just find it, trying to get myself fit, ready and able to be as best I can for Vale. Do you think you're developing as a player, even in these few weeks that you've noticed things about your game that you know you can improve and you're working on? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm analysing all parts of my game, the physical standpoint, but also the technical points as well. And um, I analyse that two or three times after I get my clips of from MJ and, and I, I always go through it and with, with the staff as well just to see what, what they, can, they can see that I can do better. It's been a tough start for the team. I think anyone would say that, but uh, the managers put great emphasis on you know maybe you, you're taking it now so you can be better later. Is patience a big part of that as a group? Of yeah, players? massive. Um, just coming into the league, it's it's tough for any team that gets promoted to to go and push on again. But we know that we've got such a tight knit group, and and we know that we'll be absolutely fine. It's just, it's just finding rhythm in our in our play and and seeing building confidence in the team, and then we just kick on from there. Have you kind of settled back into being a Port Vale player now after those kind of six months where you were where you were just waiting to find out what was going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm f- fully focused on Vale, and um, I'm over the moon that I'm I'm here and I'm I'm playing games and trying to give my all for the team and for the fans. Is it kind of a similar atmosphere to last year in terms of that dressing room and how close you are? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, similar faces. I think three quarters of the team is the exact same and. Yeah, it's it's such a tight knit group. Anyone that comes in here will, will tell you that we've got such a good group in there, and there's no bag eggs. Yeah. And looking at this league as a from your own perspective, I know last year everybody remembers you, you know, getting up and down the line and, and defending and getting forward. Is that part of your game that you you're very still much keen to do, even though it might be a little bit more difficult to do this year? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I, I won't change my game. For any team, I, I I do what I do, and that's hopefully why I get I get picked. Um, but yeah, um, I may have to adapt some parts of my game because obviously coming up against better opposition, so I'll not be able to do as much as what I I'd like to do going forwards. But um, that's just football, and you've just got to get on with it. Is anything maybe about this level surprised you at this stage? Something that you weren't expecting? I mean, the teams that we play played so far we played one team that was in playoffs last year and I think we've we've held up held our own in in, in most aspects so I think we're, we're a confident group and it's just about finding rhythm in our in our play and building confidence that's all it is yeah and you look at the team you're playing at the weekend uh, you know they haven't won yet but neither of the team you played on Tuesday so I suppose it does show you just how competitive yeah this league every is. every every team at the minute you can't read too much in at the table every team is trying trying to build for the longevity of the season and you just got to take each game. Each game's tough in this league, and you just got to take each game as it comes.